Hey guys, um, as always, it's Know Your Mac on YouTube.com. And uh, in my last video, I told you that I would be uh, also also putting out a video showing the installation progress of Parallels. Now, I did explain um, what this application is and did a quick overview of how it's used, you know, how I use it, and how it basically looks and feels on your computer. So I did this video, this previous video, with uh, Windows 7 and if you just click right below you can watch that one if you'd like to see what Parallels really is. And uh, in this video I'm going to be installing in Ubuntu, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, I must be, um, uh, live with you guys on Parallels. I've never used Linux before but um, I've heard some pretty good things because it's all open source and uh, I'm just going to install it and see how it goes. So I downloaded this from uh, Ubuntu geez someone's gonna be yelling at me for uh, pronouncing this one wrong ubuntu.com slash desktop and just click the little download button and it took about uh, a half an hour to download and uh, I'm gonna go over here with parallels and I noticed that uh, it auto auto mounts itself into this little file over here but I know that when we do this we do want to eject this if it does auto mount because we just want this little ISO file which you can see right here in my download stack now when I uh, when I install new operating systems I like to go into my documents and just put it in the parallels folder you don't have to but I just like to use it as a rule of thumb and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to go into parallels and uh, you can click file new where you can just hit this little plus button and for the installation CD I'm going to select choose an image file and navigate to documents parallels Ubuntu open and then continue and the username let's choose John full name John sure password uh, let's make this OMG continue uh, right let's create this and uh, usually when I install operating systems it takes a few seconds once I get to the screen there we go alright now I'm just gonna hit click start and that was that was amazingly fast I figured it would be much more work than that here we go seems to be loading I'm uh... I'm gonna go into full screen right here you know what? no I'll just make it bigger there we go <laughs> now just so you know when you uh... start up a virtual machine a lot of times you won't you will only have access to the mouse inside the OS that you're installing but if you hold down the control and the alt keys or the control and the option keys you can go back to your Mac mouse alright let's see hmm why is this invalid note that usernames must start with the lowercase letter can I just put a one there yes I can alright whatever I'll leave it like that uh... choose a password OMG thought I put that in already too short. Thanks a lot. OMG 101. There you go. Uh, what are the name of this computer? Sure. Log in automatically. I don't really care. Here we go. And uh, if this is going to take a long time, I'll pause the video. Alright, guys, that was taking way too long, so I just. Uh, so I just uh, pause the video for a second and uh, let that do its thing and now uh, it seems to just be wanting some code here here we go it uh, I know it restarted Doo -doo. here we go I don't think you can hear this but <laughs> alright so here we are uh, here's this little 
system thing. Let me go ahead into full screen mode. I think that'll help. All right, here we are. So uh, I see a few things on top. Is this my battery level? <laughs> Check that out. Look at that. It can see <laughs> how much battery I have in my laptop. That is that is pretty cool for a virtual machine. That's that's really amazing. Um, this is this is pretty cool. It has a uh, has some nice little menus on the top. I know it comes with Firefox. Um, if we go over here, I know I can also set up, uh, I believe I can set up AIM or email, whatever I need. Overall, I, I pretty like, I pretty much like this, this is pretty cool. Um, let's see, cancel, I don't need that. Um, but you can really see that, you know, it's extremely, extremely simple to install a virtual machine on your computer. I just did that, and it only took a few seconds. Um, you know, you could just see, I just chose the little file to use, and it automatically just did it all for me. And so, we could really apply this with any virtual machine you need, whether it be Windows, Linux, maybe another Macintosh server. Anything you need is, is relatively easy to install on Parallels. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot, everyone.